most of us know barnacles as those small shelled creatures you find at the beach attached to rocks and piers. But there's one species of barnacle with a very different sort of lifestyle. It's a parasite that castrates crabs and turns them into barnacle baby making machines. I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. So this parasitic barnacle is called Loxothylacus panopii, and it starts out its life just like most barnacles do, as a free-swimming creature looking for a home. And home for this particular parasite is inside of a mud crab. When a young female barnacle finds a mud crab, and let's say it's a male mud crab, though they infect females as well, she undergoes a transformation, losing her eyes and her legs. Then she injects herself into the crab's circulatory system. Once inside, she starts starts forming a root system throughout the crab's body, castrating him in the process. Soon, a sac starts poking out from the crab's abdomen. This is an externa, the reproductive organs of the adult female barnacle. The externa attracts male barnacles. Hey, good looking. And when a male arrives, he injects his own cells into the sac, which grow into a testicle-like structure. In fact, the adult male barnacle exists only as a testicle, mm -hmm. and he fertilizes the female barnacle's eggs. Living the dream. You might be wondering what's happened to the crab after all this. Well, believe it or not, he's definitely still alive, but he's no longer quite himself. To begin with, his abdomen has widened, so he looks a little bit more like a female crab. And by the time the parasite's eggs are fertilized, this male crab is convinced that he's pregnant. He cares for the eggs in the externa like they're his own babies, until the parasitic spawn are released, and the cycle begins again. So this is all pretty creepy, but why should we care? Well, these parasites can be extremely prolific. For example, in some places in the Chesapeake Bay, up to 75% of the mud crabs are infected, which means that none of those crabs can reproduce. And Loxothylacus panopii isn't the only species of castrating parasitic barnacle out there. There are other species that infect other crustaceans, like blue crabs and shrimp, which make up parts of our food supply. So while these parasites don't actually infect humans, they're not just a problem for crabs. They could be a problem for us too. Ew. Got a question about parasitic barnacles? Let me know in the comments. And for more gross science and weird facts, hit subscribe.